Hello everybody and welcome back once again to more Magical Girl Dating. Um, more, uh, more death last time. <laughs> more, uh, more dark and, and terrible, terrible death. Um, let's continue. Uh, right, I've got some time for school. Let's go straight to school. Morning, team. Yo, what's up? Uh, Miu, do you have a sec? Can we talk? Ray and I are just on our way to class. Can you wait? Uh, no, not really. It's about what you told me. I'm sure it's not important. Come along, Ray. Later. Yeah. Miu is purposefully trying to avoid me. Why should she drop a bombshell on me and then avoid me? I need to make her swear she won't drop a cult. Uh, right, school is finished today. I'm just going to do my training because I can't do any readings. So uh, all I've got left to do is uh, is like training, uh, lab and and field. I think I think that's all I've got left to do. Lab and field. Um, Mr. Steiner is here today. Hello, Mr. Steiner. Yes. Um, let's uh, let's study alchemy. Study here. Yes, I will do that. And uh, I'm still a sea great. Fine. And travel somewhere else. That's closed for the evening, so um convenience store I think and, and earn some money. Uh work here, I will work here, yes. All the events have gone by, so nothing has happened. Yeah. 10th to the 10th Wednesday. I've had enough of Mew and Winnie. I sent them out of the academy before class begins and tried to catch her and make her talk. Luckily, it doesn't take me long at all to find her. I managed to sneak up when she's busy at the locker. Mew? Ah, Tina, good morning. How are you? Cut the crap. I need you to tell me you're not going to join the Cult of Nine. I need you to promise and swear it. I told you I haven't decided. Bullshit, there's nothing to decide. Colt murdered our fellow students. They killed Miss Yoshida. They crucified her on the wall. Me who I know would swear to stop them, put an end to their evil deeds. Me who I know wouldn't even entertain the idea of drawing up. So if you're not that Mayu, who the hell are you? Tina, it's more complicated than no. No, it's not. The decision's simple. Why can't you see it? Tina, just stop. If I don't join the Cult of Nine, they will hurt someone very dear to me. Therefore, my decision is not an easy one. The promise of power and learning the greatest truth are secondary motivation. My main decision revolves around protecting someone I care about. If I join the Cult, they will be safe. If I don't join, well, this is new information for me. I wish you'd told me about this the other day. Mew, who is this person? Is it a family member? It's you. Me? If I refuse to join the Cult of Nine, they will attack the school again, and they will slaughter you. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Why me? Am I more valuable to Mew than Ray? Than any of her other friends? So you see, I can't make my decision like that. Miu, before the attack on the school, Ray and I vowed to avenge Miss Shida. We promised to take the cult down. If we stick to that plan, then you don't need to join the cult. We can take care of the cult of nine once and for all. That's an impossible task for you and Ray to pull off. Uh, yeah, it is. That's why we need you. We need you and Hikari and Yui and Kaori. Because we're a team, right? And that's what you said so long ago. We're a team, and we're going to protect the Academy and each other. Mew, the Cult of Nine will be expecting you to join them, but they won't be expecting all of us. If you say you'll join the Cult, it could just be the ruse we need to get access to the hideout. And then we can just join them within. 
Do you think that could work? Yeah, absolutely. The only thing stopping us from going off them right now is that we don't know where they are. But they would have given you information, right? They would have left you instructions on how to contact them. Yes, they gave me a location to meet them on a specific day. But I looked the place up and it's simply a parking lot. It's not a hideout. Then you'll go there and you'll lead them to your base. The rest of us will follow from afar. Too dangerous. It's the only way. Oh, just speculation. What if the other girls don't want to be involved? We'd be outnumbered. I've already got Ray's word, and I can guarantee you all the other ones you've got destroyed. We've all been affected by their rumbling. Very well. If you can convince the other girls, then we can carry out this plan. Okay, good. Thank you, Mew. But we need to discuss everything in detail when there's safe place to meet. Uh, that's easy. We'll gather everyone at my place tonight. Okay, then. We'll see what happens. The rest of the day passes uneventfully. I managed to get Hikari, Yui, Koyori, and Rei to all promise to meet at my apartment. Miyu and Rei are the first to arrive, followed shortly by the others. So, Tina, are you going to tell me why the hell you invited us all here to your creepy apartment? You better have a damn good reason. Koyori, I assure you we're here for a good reason. Well then, what is it? Spit it out. Yeah, I want to know. Okay, okay, calm down. Here's the deal. Mew and I explain everything. We discuss how Mew was invited to join the Cult of Nine and how we plan to use that as a way to infiltrate the Cult. We talk about meeting up with the Cult, following them back to their hideout. We brainstorm tactics on how we can destroy them once we get there. All in all, I think the discussion went pretty well. Well, you know, I'm on board. I wouldn't miss this for anything. I'm going to make them pay for what they did to Aya. Count me in, too. I haven't forgiven them for any of the murders. Having all the blame pinned on me wasn't a pleasant experience. I'll do my best to help you bring the cult down. Me too! That last battle our school was brutal. Tina, you got injured pretty badly. If I come along and heal anyone that gets hurt, then I'll be feel useful. This is a suicide mission, I hope you know. Only an idiot would go along with this stupid plan. So, you're going to be in deep shit if I don't back you up. I'll be there if I want to stop all of you getting more trouble than you can handle. Thank you, all of you. Tina, you already know I'm on board. Cult of Nine want to meet me October 28th. That's when they'll be expecting me to give them my decision. October 28th? It's during the school festival, isn't it? Yes, it's on the second day of the festival. I dare say the school will be so busy we can leave without attracting any attention. I'll meet the cult in the designated location. When they lead me to their base operations, you'll all need to follow closely behind. And whilst we're in their base, we're hitting them hard. Okay, I think I've got it. Let's do our best, everyone. Just leave the fighting to me, okay? I can live myself in any of you idiots got yourselves hurt. Don't worry, I'll be there to patch you up. The plan has been set. Mew will meet with the Octopus Cult on the October 28th, the second day of the school festival. Until then, we must bide our time. 11th to the 10th, Thursday. Uh, right, let's uh, actually schedule. Have I got anyone? No, everyone's had their first <laughs> affection. Good. <laughs> I'm not getting anyone up to 50 by then. Fucking hell. Um, right then, let's, um, let's go straight to school. The day passes on. Uh, right, let's go and do uh, more field, 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 I think. Field? I'm going to have to have a look. Uh, let's do the lab first, because I can, I can do that, so I know I'm not, I've not got that. Uh, study out. Yes, study here. Yep. I'm at B grade in alchemy. Uh, right, let's quickly have a quick check on my status. Uh, ah, alchemy and expertise. That was it. There we go. Um, right, well, not a lot I can do. So I'm going to go to the arcade. Kill some time in the arcade. Uh, play an arcade game. 
jammy is it? Today's prize is awesome silky gloves. Uh, okay. Want to try luck? Yeah, alright. You managed to pick the prize and drop it in the chute. You get to keep it. That's generally how arcades work. Yeah. The claw comes down. Thanks to my amazing magic attribute, I'm totally confident I can manipulate the outcome. The prize falls in the chute. I can't believe I actually. Nice! I won silky gloves. Yay! Alright, um. Oh, uh, no, I can't do debate club. Forests. Go and search for ingredients. Um. Pump store. Can I buy anything from the pump store? Uh, uh, shop here. Um, I can buy a, buy a sniper rifle. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna buy a sniper rifle. That'll do. Go to us. Bye. I'm off to make some more money. <laughs> work here. Yes. Start work. Time goes slowly, nothing much happens. I've earned a bonus. 2,800 or 28,000 yen. It's also the 10th Friday. Uh, go straight to school. The last day of the school week drags by slowly. Right, go somewhere else. Let's go to debate club. See if I can get my expertise up. Amy and Amy are here. Hello, Amy and Amy. Let's just do some studying here. Yeah. Ah, still a B. Okay. That should be enough for today. Yeah, as it should be. Um, jump somewhere else. Go to the convenience store. Make some money. Hi. Hi, Ray. How are you doing? Um, wish it was Ray the one who wanted the gun. Ray might want the gun. Do you want a, do you want a gun? Do you want a gun? Have a gun. Yes, have a gun, Ray. Whoa, that's so cool. Well, y'all even get that. You're the best. I love getting gifts from you. Ray's affection has increased by ten. Sweet. There you are. Have a gun. <laughs> um, do some shopping. Uh, work here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do some work. Um, twenty-eight thousand yen. Uh, no, it's not twenty-eight thousand. Two thousand eight hundred. Sorry. Now, 13th to the 10th, Saturday. Nothing much is happening today, so let's go to the debate club. Hi, Amy and Amy. We're here to join in the debates again. Uh, yep, everything holds value. We're at night grade. The debate wraps up on the other side of the clear window. That should be enough for the day. Yes, it should. <laughs> and it's night time. Um, convenience store, more money. Oh, 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 I don't think I've got any for you, have I? Do I have a gift for you, Mew? Uh, no. No, I've just got food. <laughs> Sorry, Mew, I haven't got anything for you. Um, shopping. Shop here. Actually, no, there's not a shop here. Work here. Dang it. I pressed the wrong, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Work here. Yeah, stop work. Time goes up slowly. Nothing which just happens while I'm working. Thanks, my expertise. I earned a bonus. I earned 3,500 yen! 14th to the 10th, Sunday. Alright, uh, let's uh, travel somewhere else. Let's go to the lab. Hi, Steiner. Uh, I'm here to study alchemy. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's all very difficult stuff to learn, but I'm getting better at it. That should be enough for today. Wait, um. We need to stop. Nation. We need to do some more work. <laughs> yeah, nothing just happens. It's fine. I earned a lot of money. Top head home. 15th to the 10th, Monday. We've only got like another 10 days. Alright, so a week and a half, really. As I'm sure you're all aware by now, the school first will be held in two weeks. We hold the festival every year and it carries on for two days. Because of that, we'll be holding it over a weekend to make sure our classes aren't interrupted. This year's theme is Halloween! <laughs> well, just in time for Halloween as well. 
We will. This year's uh, theme is Halloween. We can hold it on Halloween. Hey, <laughs> Lots of spooky decorations set up and costumes during curry. It's a lot of planning to do, so we'll require a few volunteers to dedicate their time after school to help. Now let's see. Who would like to volunteer? No one is raising their hand. There are a few students in our class anyway, so I'm not surprised no one wants to volunteer. Uh, well, I might have to pick a few students at random. Ikari, Yui, and Tina. You three can be in the festival committee. Damn! I'll need you all to stay back after school this week. You need to be extra thorough in planning to make sure the festival is a success. Well, there goes my free time for the week. Hikari nudges me here. This is pretty inconvenient, don't you think? We're supposed to be gearing up for the attack on the cult. Don't say it too loudly. They keep a low profile. You is right. We need to just go along with this. Mew and Ray, Yuri can make preparations for him. Okay, okay, let's do this. Hikari, you and I stay back after school to help with the festival preparations. We end up finishing pretty late. By the time I get home, I'm completely wiped out. I can't believe I have a whole week of planning ahead of me. 19th, yeah. Live, 19th to 10th, okay. Phew, Yui, can you help me type this banner? Okay. Yeah, just hold it like this while I attach this. The girls are working hard to ensure everything gets set up properly. I have to admit, we've done a pretty good job of getting it. And we're a week ahead of schedule. The festival doesn't start until the end. Yeah? There, that should stay up. Hopefully. I think we're all done. Yay! Woo! Good work, everyone! So now that everything's set up, what do we do? We should go to self tell me that everything's ready. Right up. Uh, what if she comes up with more tasks to give us? Oh, good point. The day's almost over anyway. Why don't we just go home and rest up? Oh, yeah, I'm all for that. We'll tell Satomi on Monday that preparations are complete. Okie dokie, let's go! Twentieth to the tenth, Saturday. Um, right, I need to, uh... I need to seriously knuckle down on my lab work. <laughs> hey, Yeah, let's study alchemy. Study here. Yep. B grade in alchemy. Oh, now, hopefully... E, hopefully I can get all this done by the end of the uh, end of the week. Right, um come somewhere else. Let's go to Um Let's go to the arcade so I can win. Ah Hikari's there. Hikari, have I got anything you might like? Ah I have. Here, Hikari, have a cutie girl figurine. Wow, what a nice gift. I never expected such a thing from you, Tina. Gee, thanks. Thank you for the gift. I'm really happy with it. Hikari's infection is increased by There you go, um, and let's check out the arcade. And play an arcade game! What can I win? Today's <laughs> today's prize is a mandrake we just found in the forest. Hey, alright, let's give it a go. Um, yeah, magic tribute, yeah, that's cool. I can't believe I actually won! Yeah, I've got a mandrake. Um, Play an arcade game. You really play the game? Uh I go somewhere else then. Um uh, convenience store, apartment store. Department store. Uh shop here, what can I buy here? Warm gloves. Cosplay outfit. <laughs> Not got a lot of money. Um Magic scroll. Pretty shoes, shiny ring. No, okay, I'll just, I'll just go somewhere. I'll just, I'll just sit and just make money and just do that. I don't want to be wiped out. Hi, uh, oh, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Uh, shop here. Um, she wants that stuff. Have the lovely hairpin. Yes. Thank you. Um, bye. Run back. I'm you! You're not going anywhere, have you? No! Hi! Uh, have a hairpin! Yes! Uh, no problem! Fraction by 10! Yay! Uh, let's uh, do some shopping again while I'm here. And work. Yeah, start work. Nothing just happens. I earn 3,500 yen. Come then home! 
21st to 10th Sunday. Right, uh, travel somewhere else. I need to get to the lab. And study alchemy, study gear, yes. Ah, uh, still a B. Hopefully, next week won't be a you're doing something after school for the entire week. Um, because if it is, I won't get a chance to get my alchemy up. It is annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing I can't actually increase, increase A over to C, over to S grade or something. Um, even though it lets you continue to learn it, or study it. 22nd of the 10th Monday. Thanks to the efforts of our volunteers, I'm happy to announce that School Festival is ready to begin this weekend. Remember to get here early on Saturday morning, there will be games and activities for everyone to get involved in, and a costume judging contest in the afternoon. The festival will continue through to Sunday, and we'll have a giant feast in the gymnasium. Ikari nudges me in the ribs. Sunday is the day Miu will beat the cult. I have to sneak out during the feast. Okay, shouldn't be a problem. Now, for today's lesson... Yo! Well, 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 if it isn't the Festival Planning Committee... I hope you're happy with yourselves. You've been off planning something trivial while Mayu, Ryu and I are stuck on our battle plan. Hey, Ari, don't be rude. They didn't have a choice. Besides, we still have all this week to prep for our battle. Huh. Sorry, Kerry. We didn't really plan for what to plan for the festival. We thought it'd be odd if we outright rejected it. Fine, fine. I don't know about you guys, but I've been unable to sleep. I'm so worked up thinking about fighting the cult. I'm pretty nervous, but I know we'll be okay. We've had some battle experience now. We should have some idea of what to expect. It's true, all the girls have participated in a battle or two this year. I'm the only one that can't really do anything. I'd like to go over this plan with all of you, if that's okay. We'll spend some time going through our predictions. Welcome home, bud. I'm hungry. Okay, okay, I'll make some dinner soon. Yeah! Uh, you look worried. Something up, bud? Uh, I'm anxious, that's all. We'll be fighting some powerful enemies soon. I know, a picture of his fighter, but No offense, but you just don't have a look. Is that so? Can he even use any magic? Uh... Well, never mind that. I guess it all comes down to what you can do in a moment. If you think you can handle it, there ain't no shame in running away. I don't want you getting near your head anyway. I need someone to feed me. Hey, <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah, got it, yeah. 23rd of the 10th Tuesday. It's raining! Uh, go straight to school, because it's raining. I could do some, uh, some training. Today passes surprisingly fast. Right. Go to the lab! Last minute crunching! Study the alchemy! Yes. Yes. Ah, still be. Dang it. Uh, go somewhere else. I'll go to the arcade. See what I can win at the arcade. Hi, talk to Jammy. No, let's not talk to Jammy. Let's just play an arcade game. Whoa, scary statue. Hell yeah, I'll win that. Want to try luck? Yes. Okay, I get to keep it if I win it. Yeah, I win it. Yeah. I got a... Nice, I won a scary statue. Sweet. Uh, go somewhere else. Let's go and earn some money, I guess. What's the point in doing a lot else, really? Oh, um. Hey, Shin. I'm here to earn some money. Got work. Yeah. 3,500 3, yen. Yeah, 3,500 yen. Top header. 24th of the 10th Wednesday. Getting closer. Rainy again? Oh no, it's sunny, okay. Time for school, go straight to school. I've got another advanced potion for you all today. This is the insanely potent future fortune for potion plus. Uh, normally you drink a fortune potion before starting work in order to earn a little extra dough. Put down a fortune potion plus instead and reap their benefits for three whole days. That's 
three days of earning extra cash. Here's how you can make it. I learned how to make a fortune potion plus. And that's all there is to it. Brew up a couple of these before I'm out in the workshop to we'll let you know time. Right, let's shop somewhere else. Hi, Sino, I'm going back into the lab. Um, can I brew a potion? Uh, study alchemy. Yeah, just study. Study alchemy. Don't want to risk brewing a potion and not using up the day. Oh, still be. Still be. Alright, um, let's, uh, let's just go to bed. Yeah, let's just go to bed. 25th to 10th Thursday. Right, sunny day, let's go straight to school. There's only a few more days until the school festival starts. Uh, learn. Learning. Must do learning. Learn, learn it. Learn me, learn me alchemy. I want to learn the alchemy. Learn me it. Learn me it's good. No. No, my goal. My goal of getting an A grade and everything. No. Uh, go somewhere else. Go to the convenience store. Drown myself in work in order to dull the pain of failure. Uh. Right, next day, Friday, Friday 26th, 26th of 10th, Friday, go to school, go to school, I need to learn alchemy. First day of the school festival is tomorrow, our date with the cult of nine is the day after. Travel somewhere else, quick, lab, let's hope it's enough. Is it enough? Come on, come on, I need a straight A grade, I need to be straight A. Ah, I failed. I have failed my mission! Damn it. Oh well. Guess we just go to bed. Twenty seventh to the tenth Saturday. When I arrive at school the morning for the first day of the festival, I run into someone unexpected. Yo yo, what's up? Uh, Shin, what are you doing here? You guys having a festival right in the public? It is? I had no idea. Ha <laughs> classic. I thought it'd be sweet to check it out. I've never been to your school before. Ah, oh, well, uh, yeah, um, I mean, uh, uh, come on in, uh, Shin, with your, with your Spider-Man pin button. And I'm um, not quite sure what on that one is, or that one. Neither why. Well, this place is awesome, and there's so many cute girls around. I'm in heaven. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Told you guys I had a lot of trouble already, right? There's been, like, murders and stuff. Yeah, I try not to think about that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right, sorry. Huh? Tina, you're here. Oh, and Jin. Hey. Hi, Kari. Kari, you never told me the festival was open to the public. Huh? How could you not know that? It's a festival! I thought for sure you'd invite other people to come. Oh, what about Noriko? You should get her to come along. Um, We haven't talked recently. Ikari's suggestion is as painful a reminder that Noriko left the country and doesn't want to speak. Oh, I still don't understand what all of that was about, but hopefully Noriko is doing well. Uh, should we go and find the others? Yeah, okay. Sure, hey, what are you and Gobby there? Oh, and uh, Mio too? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're all here. Let's go. Ah, hello. Huh? Why are you all in your magical girl outfits? Just Ray's idea. If you didn't have time to organise costumes for the contest, she thought this would be best. But so embarrassing. Only one's dressed like this. Everyone else has proper Halloween costumes. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but the best idea I could come up with shot notice. Whoa, you girls look amazing. Ah, <laughs> thanks! Perv? Hello? Oh, hey, Yui. I didn't see you hiding there. Eh. There's so many people around. Does this mean I should transform too? I don't have a Halloween costume. 
Well, if you want to enter the contest, you should. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Anyone else want to grab a bite to eat? There's a snack food store over there. Oh, oh me! Let's get some eats! Ta-da! Uh, huh? Where'd they all go? How embarrassing. After you all grab a bite to eat, we look around the festival and more. Oh, there are lots of students in creepy Halloween costumes wandering around the school and scaring people when they least expect it. There's lots of food and a few games, and some students have even set up a smoothie trivia session. After some time, we hear an announcement saying the costume contest is about to begin. We head back to the gyms. Welcome students, and welcome newcomers. We are ready to announce the winners of the Halloween costume contest. The only prize is the honor of being crowned the Academy's best dressed student. Without further delay, let's begin. In third place, we have Miss Shizuka. Timid looking, sorry. A timid looking student with a leg in a cast slowly climbs up to the stage while the audience cheers and applauds. Miss Shizuka used her broken leg as an inspiration for this year's costume as she covered herself in bandages to become a spooky mummy. Well done, Miss Shizuka. You've earned the third place award. Now, our second place winner is none other than Miss Kaori Bonnet. Kaori looks taken aback. Her face turns bright red as the audience applauds. She hesitantly gets up on stage. Uh, uh... Kyori's cute cat girl costume is just the type of outfit this popular every year. Well done, Kyori, and congratulations on second place. Second place? Jeez, who even voted for me? It's not like I wanted to win this stupid contest anyway. Finally, wrap up this year's contest and we're ready to announce our first place winner, Miss Yui Akiyama. Yui's skin turns ghost pale. I can tell she's terrified of going up on stage in front of all the people. Ray laughs and gives her a gentle push forward, but Yui has no choice but to go on stage. Uh, I, I, uh, thank you. The audience goes wild at the sight of Yui's outfit. Yui, congratulations on taking first place this year. Your outfit is sensational. It captures the spirit of Halloween perfectly. Uh, <laughs> what a nightmare, so many people. Let's give an extra round of applause to all our winners. What a fantastic contest. Now feel free to enjoy the rest of the festival. I think I'm gonna faint. Wow, what an awesome day. Is it like every day like this at your school? No, of course not. It's a festival, you goose. <laughs> oh yeah, right, right. Say, uh, Tina, uh, I was wondering, are you ever to skip the festival tomorrow and hang out with me? There's something I want to talk to you about. Interesting. It must be serious if Shin is asking such a thing. But tomorrow is the big day. We're planning to fight the cult, so I can't possibly skip this festival. Sorry, Shin. Hang out another time. I'm the committed to the festival at the moment. Oh, yeah, sure, I understand. Probably bad timing, I get. Yeah, sorry. Any other time would have been fine. Okay, no biggie. Well, enjoy the rest of the festival anyway. I had a blast today. I'll catch you later, okay? Alright, see ya. I wonder what Shin could have wanted to talk about. I should ask him about it another time. How embarrassing. Oh, Yui, uh, congrats on the big win today. Don't tease me, I didn't even want to be part of it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna go home and hide in the court for a little while. Hey, don't forget tomorrow. Uh, uh, yes, I know, I'll be there, don't worry. Okay, get some rest. Tomorrow's the day. Are you all ready? You know it. Of course. Take me four. Ready as I'll ever be. Good. You all remember the plan. We'll sneak out to the festival during the feast. I'm meeting the cult at the parking lot. You all have the location on your phone. From there, you'll need to follow the cult wherever they take you. Yeah, we got it. Don't worry, it'll all work out. Okay. I'm counting on you all. 28th to the 10th, Sunday. The Great Feast. There are even more people here today than there were yesterday. The gymnasium is packed with people eating and having a good time. You're here. Have you eaten? No, not yet. When are we going? Soon. I just need to make sure the others are all here. I'm still looking for Ray. 
if I can direct your attention to the chicken buffet, I think you'll see her. <laughs> Ray's mouth is full of food, and her hand is a plate stacked with tipping point fried chicken. Ray, take it easy, will you? How are you getting a stomach ache? Oh, okay, just a few more bats then. Jeez, I'm really nervous. Me too. We'll be fine. Just keep it together for now. When are we getting out of here? Soon. I just need to make sure Satomi or any other team aren't paying attention to us. Speaking of Satomi, I hope you're all enjoying the food. I get some of this myself, you know. Though none has touched the plates I bought. Uh, food is great. <laughs> Do you make those omelettes? I'll try them out. Thank you, Hikari. Say, you look a little pale. You feeling okay? Yeah. Yes, we're fine. I think the cold weather is just getting. Ah, of course. It's been so chilly lately. Well, stay inside and keep warm. Make sure you enjoy yourself today. Cause you're back to school tomorrow. <laughs> okay. We should be in the clear. Let's get going. All right, it's game time. Don't mess this up for us, Tina. Me. Jeez, wouldn't dream of it. Quickly, quickly, let's go! Uh. Satomi so Sora's leaving! Ah! Okay, we've got a pretty good view of the parking lot from here. Mew's walking over there now. Make sure you all stay hidden! It's easier said than done. We're all waiting around for Mew to meet the cult. From here, we can just make out the ship and Mew waiting patiently. There's no way we'll miss seeing anyone else shop meet her. We wait nervously as minutes after minute takes by. Uh, are we sure we got the date right? Shh. I'm positive Mew wouldn't have messed up such an important detail anyway. Shh, I said shut it! Someone walking over to Mew. Uh, oh. Sure enough, a cloaking individual is approaching Mew. They seem to be alone, which is surprising. I thought they'd bring back up the shore. We see the individual stop in front of Mew. They seem to chat for about 20 seconds, and then they begin to walk away together. Okay, it's on. We gotta follow behind. Right, be stealthy, everyone. We do our best to follow behind Mew from a safe distance. We are led away from the winding streets and out towards the forest on the outskirts of town. The cult member leads Mew around the edge of the forest, avoiding the trees entirely. We follow along, entering a small and empty field. After crossing the field, the cult member approaches a small outcrop of trees. The trees seem to cover up a small brick building with a wooden gate in front. The cults hide out. We are here! But before we go inside, tell your friends to come out and say hello. What? I wasn't born yesterday, sweetie. Invite your friends to come out and play. I can't believe it. Even though we followed so far behind, the cultists know we're here. I don't know what you're talking about. Haha, <laughs> cute, okay. The cultist slams her fist on the large stone door. Hey, Lemon, we got company. After a couple of seconds, the door opens and another cultist steps outside. Uh, I'm just going to... I don't know what fucking voice this even... <laughs> okay, so that one's name is Lime. Lemon. Um... What is it, Lime? This is the girl. Her friends followed us. Just how annoying. Oh. Do we kill them? Nah, not till the boss told me this one. Fine. The cultist in yellow, Lemon, turns towards us. Even though we're hiding behind trees, he manages to pinpoint our location. Come on, out you goons! It's your army of a quicker if you just show yourselves. I guess we don't have a choice. Ray is the first to step out. She's acting confident and brave. Kari jumps out next, then Yui. I go after her, and Hikari tails me nervously. One, two, three. So, six of you, including this one. Not bad, not bad. Actually, I recognize some of you. You're responsible for knocking me out back at the academy. 
You eat cows away in fear. She's not nearly as brave as when she's in her magic outfit. Let it go. Just call the boss out, will you? Right, right. The cultist named Lime slams her fist in the door again. Boss, hey boss, we got Mio girl here. There's no answer from me. Boss will probably just be a minute. Sorry, I've completely lost their voice already. I'm just gonna do both the same, why not? While we wait, why don't you all line up over there? She shoves Mew towards us and really grabs her to stop her falling. Hey, watch it! Don't make me clock you, Wong! Ray, it's, a, it's okay. Calm down. Uh. The wooden door opens once more and the cult leader appears. It's the same woman who stood off against Satomi when the academy was under attack. And I can't remember what voice I gave her. The woman who stabbed me through the stomach. It's you. She's looking straight at me. Because of her mask, I can't make out her expression. I can't tell if she's shocked or annoyed to see me. I didn't think you would show your face after our last encounter. Well, no matter. She suddenly loses interest in me, then turns to you. Let me see if I understand correctly. You gathered all your friends with the intention to fight us. You have no desire to join us, am I right? Yes. I wouldn't join your horrific cult in a million years. I am the Academy's ace student, and I will burn your hideout to the ground. Very brave of but you know not who you stand against. We have sapped life and energy from countless ace students. You are not special. You are a font of magical energy ripe for us to consume. That is your purpose, nothing more, nothing less. Boss, can I cut her fucking head off? Oh, do not touch her. Mew, everyone. You do not yet know the truth of this world. I wanted you to join us, to learn from us, to attain knowledge of the greatest truth. Suppose you won't tell me now, will you? Hmm. Perhaps it couldn't hurt anyway. Perhaps it will serve all of you well. Nothing in this world is as it seems. A higher power commands you like puppets on the spring. All of you are marionettes, your fates determined on a whim by an unseen force. I think he's talking about me. I think this is like going, I think this is like meta now. He's like, ah, I'm determining the fate of all these girls. What they do. Only the cult of nine are truly free, powerful enough to escape the influence of the puppet master. That's kind of true, I suppose, because I had no ability to influence them at all. Um, I've influenced these girls, taking them on dates, giving them stuff, influencing their affection, but not had anything to do with them. Had you joined us, you could have truly been free, free to create your own destiny. But you will continue being led blindly by one who acts like a god. What a load of bull. She's full of it. Who really thinks we're gonna fall for something like that? Come on. Such a vague thing to say. I don't believe it, not for a second. I'm not buying it. That's the greatest truth you've been carrying on about, and I was right to never trust you. We're ending this here and now. If you wish to make us your enemy, then so be it. But know this, one among you has already betrayed you. Someone close to you has already sealed the outcome of your lives. Yeah, me! Someone has betrayed us? Is she just spouting nonsense to try and catch us off guard? No, it's the player. She's talking about the player. None of my friends will betray us. Not Ikari, not Yui, not Miu, not Kiri, not Rei. We're all here today because our ambitions align. We're all allied against the Cosmic Nine. That's enough. It's time to throw down. This is for Aya. Rei Shimizu, stop at once. A booming voice stops Ray in her tracks. Huh? Who? Who's there? Come on out so I can get ya! Ha <laughs> ha The more the merrier! It's Satomi! I knew she would turn up! She saw us leaving! She can turn up! 
Sir Toby, what the hell is she doing here? Did she follow us all the way from the school? Why? How? Step aside, my call is with your leader. Oh, fuck off, I'm gonna slice you up and I'll lick your kidneys clean! I hardly even see Sir Tommy move. A blinding light flashes for a split second and then Sir Tommy is standing on top of the cultist, decimated corpse. Lemon's body is crumpled, her internal organs leaking out in a dozen gashes from her body. You, step aside, my quarrel is with your leader. The other cultist, Lime, is shaking. She fumbles with a knife at her belt but can hardly grasp the handle. You, you, you killed my sister! You bitch, you killed her! <laughs> another slight movement for Satomi, another bright flash of light. Lime's decapitated head rolls to the feet. Her body slumps forward. The head stops rolling and I make eye contact. A look of terror is etched on Lime's face, never to be removed. You're the leader, correct? You're the one. You're the one I face the academy. That's right, our fight when we was then interrupted. Let's be sure that doesn't happen again. Satomi strikes! She lashes out with her wand, the tiny pen she always carries, the blow can it solidly with the cult leader's mask. The mask shatters into pieces, revealing the leader's face. Is it Noriko? Ah. When the mask is shattered, the cult leader hair changed, where her hair and mask are part of the Fuck it! When the mask shattered, the cult leader's hair changed. Were her hair and mask part of a magical transformation? She misses and averts her gaze from Satomi. She looks straight to me in the eyes. Noriko? Called it! Called it fucking Noriko! <laughs> you, you, it, how? Didn't want you to find out this way, Tina. So sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But I wasn't lying about the greatest truth. You know me, Tina. What I told you is... A pair of magical blades cleave Noriko's chest in two. They drive through her back, slice into her spine and penetrate her sternum. A startled expression flashes across Noriko's face. And I'll never forget that look. I'll never forget the fear, the pain, the sorrow in those brutal eyes. I'll never forget the movements of her mouth at that silent moment. The words traced upon her lips, uttered breathlessly and with her dying strength. Please forgive me. As Noriko's final words are carried away by the breeze, Satomi presses her sword deeper like a lion, ensuring a clean kill. It is done. Satomi. My usually shy, humble, somewhat clumsy teacher, she just brutally killed two cult lackeys and their leader, Noriko, without any hesitation. What kind of power does she have? Noriko's body begins to slump. The life in her eyes has faded and she looks like a mannequin. Noriko, the woman I idolized, the creator of Cutie Star, butchered, slain, murdered. But she was the leader of the cult of nine. She was evil. Is that it? Does that make her death okay? Am I supposed to feel good now that she's dead? I don't feel good. I feel sick. I feel like I'm going to throw off my own soul. I feel betrayed and broken. I hate Nora. I hate her. I hate Satomi. I hate her. I hate this feeling. I hate being here. I hate seeing dead people. I hate seeing living people. I hate the toil this takes on my body. I hate the stench of death, the aroma of decay, the sickly sweet bouquet of a corpse without a soul. I hate the sight of blood, the color of red, the knowledge that the very same liquid burns in my own veins and is desperately trying to escape during every waking moment. I hate that I'm helped again. I hate that Noriko left me with little explanation and now she has left me again that I only have more questions. I'm going home. I turn and walk away from the disgusting scene in front of me. Tina, come back. 
Fuck off. Uh, my mind is completely blank as I make the long trek home. When I reach my apartment, I'm completely oblivious to who she's barking. I enter my bedroom, slam the door shut, fall on the bed. We're not the 10th Monday, school day! I refuse to go to school. Seeing Noriko cut down before me was just too much to handle. It doesn't help, I can't get the words out of my head. A higher power commands you like puppets on springs. All of you are marionettes, your fates determined on a whim by an unseen force. But know this, one among you has already been Someone close to you has already sealed the outcome of your lives. Someone close to me treats. Noriko, you're the only one to treat me. You lured me in and made me think you were a friend, but you were the leader of the cult of nine, the one responsible for so many murders in the academy. My phone buzzes. I try to ignore it, but the lit up screen captures my curiosity. Hey, sorry about yesterday. After you left, we searched the whole hideout. No sign of any other cultists. Satomi says there were just three. They wanted me to join to help rebuild their ranks. The Cult of Nine is dead. The Cult of Nine. Slain by Satomi's head. For some odd reason, I feel a smile for us. The Cult of Nine is dead. We did it. We took care of the threat that's been hanging over the Academy all year. Maybe school will return to normal now. Maybe my life will return. Maybe I'll stop seeing corpses. But I'm still not going to I need time to do nothing. I need time to forget about Nora. I must have drifted off to sleep at some point, because I awakened to another text message on my phone. Hey, you got time to hang tomorrow? Something I want to talk about. Oh yeah, Shin. He mentioned during the festival he had something to discuss. I kind of blew him off. I suppose I can meet up with him, maybe after class, if I end up going to school at all. I send him a reply and tell him we can meet. Okay, thanks, I'll see you tomorrow then. I throw my phone to the side and lay back down. 30th 10th Tuesday How are you feeling, Tina? We were worried when you didn't show up yesterday. Fine, just had a lot to deal with. Sorry, Tina. That woman, she was your friend, wasn't she? Yeah, apparently. You think what she said is true? What, about us being puppets manipulated by some unseen power? Yeah, that, and also about being betrayed by someone close to us. I don't know, I, I don't know if any of it is true. And I'll never get can't ask her about it, so I don't want to discuss it. Shin told me to wait out in front of the school once class is finished. So I wait at the gate like an obedient child. Hikari offered to walk home and wait along. Hikari offered to wait alongside me. Okay, fucking, we're screwing up these lines today, aren't I? Is he running late? I guess so. Surprised you wanted to wait with me. You didn't like Shin. Mm. Shin's okay, I guess. After a while, Shin finally turned up. Oh, hey, sorry, keep waiting. Hey, Hikari. Hi. Shin seems annoyed that Hikari is here. He turns to me. We go for a walk. Yeah, okay. See you, Hikari. Thank you for waiting. Okay. I leave Hikari behind and walk away with Shin. Shin and I walk in silence for a while. There's a gloomy air hanging over him, and I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with how I'm feeling. After all, Shin doesn't know anything about what happened to the cult, about what happened to Noriko. So, yeah. Uh, you lit off today. Like, everything alright? Weekend was pretty rough. Let's just leave it at that. Oh yeah, uh, school festival must have taken his toll on you, huh? Something like that. Shin, what did you drag me out here for? 
uh, yeah, okay. Look, this is all for me to say. We know each other forever, and that just makes it even more difficult. This word, these words, I have a brief flashback in my mind of Noriko telling me she's... Is Shin doing the same? Is he going to leave and eventually betray me? I'm doing a lot of thinking lately, you see. And something in my life just hasn't felt quite right for a while now. I feel kind of lonely. Something's missing, but I feel like it's something I've been in front of me the whole time. Shin, what are you saying? I know you like, and I know you like really, really well. We're like best friends, right? I know that you like women, girls, or whatever. But I was wondering, would you make an exception? Because I love you, I love you, and I want to be with you. I'm completely taken aback. This is not the direction I thought this conversation was heading in. Shin loves me. How can this be? How did I never see this coming? What am I supposed to say to him? He knows I'm attracted to girls, but still, could we be together? Could we make it work? So, uh, don't keep me waiting here. I want to know what you think. Would you date someone like me? Jin, I... Look, I know I'll put you on the spot here so you don't have to answer me today. Just think it over, would you? Yeah. Uh, this is, like, really awkward. You don't have to stick around if you don't want to. Maybe just give me a call when you had to think about it, okay? That sounds fair. I need some time to let this sink in. Okay, I'll I'll do that. Thanks, so uh see ya. I'm in shock as I walk away. Shin sits down on the riverbank and watches me leave. I turn back to face him and he gives me a sheepish wave and an awkward smile. I need to head home and think things through. 31st of the 10th, Wednesday. Shin confessed his love to me. I thought maybe it was all a dream, but it feels too real. What do I say to him? Do I want to be with him? When is the right time to call him and tell him my decision? I just don't know. Regardless, I need to get to school. I'll think about this later. Happy Halloween! <laughs> I feel like we've been celebrating Halloween for an entire week. The school festival was Halloween themed, and now today is the big day. Ah, my favorite time of year. To celebrate, I want to teach you a fantastic new potion. If you go trick or treating and give away a few of these brews, everyone will love them. It's the Sucker Potion Plus. Completely useless, but it looks valuable, so you can sell it for a bucket load of cash. Here's what you need to do. I learned how to make a sucker potion plus. And that's all there is to it. Yeah. Brop one of these and sell it to a merchant. I hear there's a strange woman who hangs out in the forest who likes to buy and sell goods. Now, to continue our Halloween celebration. <laughs> At the end of the school day, I decide it's time to call Shin and tell him I want him. Here goes nothing. I give him a call and wait for him. No answer. I'll try one more time. Nothing. He's not picking up. Weird since I thought he'd be eagerly anticipating my call, but no problem. I'll send him a text and ask him to call me when he's free. There. I'll just wait for him to call. First 11th Thursday. Practical magic class has never been the same since Miss Shishida died. Having Satomi teach us is unusual, all the more so now that I've seen what she's truly capable of. Since early this year, you will have been trained to maximize your combat potential in the event the school is attacked. It's not yet public knowledge, but I suppose now is a good time to let you all know. The school is no longer in danger of attack. The Cult of Nine has been well and truly destroyed. A round of gasps from my castmates fills the air. This seems to be news to them. I guess everyone who knew the truth has kept tight-lipped about what happened over the weekend. The Cult of Nine is dead, and with them, Noriko. With the Cult defeated, I can confidently say there's no more students will be targeted. We can enjoy the rest of the school year feeling safe and secure. Practical magic lessons will take a more relaxed approach from now on. Like word is out about the Cult. 
Yeah, so Tommy officially informed our class this morning. About time, I thought you'd want to celebrate sooner. Yeah. Still, the other students have no real idea of what went down. Perhaps Satomi is going to claim all the credit. Right, real details remain under wraps. What's important is that people know we're safe now. Maybe we'll see some students return to the academy. Hell yeah, it'll be great to have things back in the armor. This place feels freaking empty since so many students left after Aya died. Maybe now we can focus on studying for our final exams. Maybe why you gotta ruin the vibe? Do you some good to study, Ray? Bleh, gross. Exams are December 10th. You've still got time, but keep it in mind. I'm not worried. My grades are incredible. Tina, on the other hand, you should definitely study. What's that supposed to... Exactly. I'm like almost a straight-A student. What are you talking about? I'd never say such a thing. Since I haven't heard back from Shin, I decided to try calling him again. Still no answer. What's going on with him? Is he suddenly too shy to talk to me? Does he think he made a mistake by confessing? I give a sigh and send him another text. I guess I just have to be patient. Second eleventh Friday. Hey bud, remember me? How about you pay me some attention for once, huh? Come on, you know you want to play with this fat little papa? Hoshi, bug off, I'm getting ready for school. Take me to the beach! What? It's cold and it's raining and you're mad. I don't care, come on, beach adventure! Why don't you just go and eat some breakfast? I'm busy. I already ate! Eat again, leave me alone. Come on, take me to the beach! Oshi, I swear. Beach, beach, beach! I've had enough. Right, that's it, I'm leaving for school. As I head out of my room, I switch the TV on. I crank up the volume. Oh, what the hell do you think you're doing? You are not leaving the TV on way out. I can't turn it off with these fat paws. Don't do this to me. I walk through the door and completely ignore Hoshi's protests. I'm begging you, don't leave the TV on. Good morning. Hey, you know, that dog of yours is nothing but trouble. He wants to go to the beach today. Oh, maybe we should come visit him. It's been a while. Yeah, you can take him back if you want. <laughs> By the way, random question for you. Have you run into Shin lately? Shin? No, of course not. It's not like we hang out. Yeah, I know. I just can't get in touch with him. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I'll try it again later. Anyway, let's get to class. Once more, I find myself standing outside school, trying to call Shin. Still no answer. And it doesn't look like my text messages are being read either. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I know. I'll stop the convenience store. Maybe he's caught up with work. But Chin is nowhere to be seen. Someone else is working on the register and no one is in the storeroom. Guess that was a false lead. I'm just going to go home. When I get back to my apartment, I hear the TV blaring. And that's right, I left it on to punish Hoshi. You freaking bastard! I told you countless times not to leave your TV on when you go out! What do you do? You deliberately disobey me! I've been stuck here with commercials playing for most of the day. I'll never get the freaking jingles out of my head! You'll pay for this, Tina! Mark my words, one day you will pay! Okay. Commercials and news broadcasts, that's all that's been on! Do you have any idea how boring the news is? I don't care about human affairs! The most interesting bit was when they pulled a body out of the river! Some poor sod has it bashed in and they discovered it floating downstream. At least he doesn't have commercial jingles ringing in his ears. Hey, did you say someone was found in the river? You've been listening to me. A rescue team pulled a dead body out of that river near here. Some punk ass dude with blonde hair looked like a real piece of work. A river near here? A punk dude with blonde hair? How common is blonde hair in Japan? Not very, I'd wager. The river near here. I love you, I love you, and I want to be with you. Holy. I grab my phone and frantically search the net news report Hoshi is talking about. Over a thousand results, the report is all over the place. Local youth discovered in river, authorities speculate murder. 
A young man identified as Shin Tanaka is the subject of a recent murder investigation. His body was discovered floating downstream after having sustained serious blood trauma to his skull. Police are urging anyone with more information to come forward. Shin is dead? What, what happened? My best friend murdered? The river. They found him in a river. Right near where he confessed to me. Then someone killed him after I left? I... Shin... 11th Saturday My room's changed My room has changed The bed wasn't that way It was over here Shin is dead And they found his body in the river His head was caved in And he's dead And he won't answer his phone He wouldn't answer his phone He was alive But maybe he would have answered but he has been dead this whole time, and I don't know. And no one told me, but the talking dog that lived in my bedroom told me. Why did the dog know? And how did the dog talk to me? Shin died, but no one told me. And Hikari said she hadn't seen him, but the dog knew. The dog watched the news, but why did the dog do that? It's not a thing a dog would normally do. It's because I left the TV on, even though the dog told me not to. I disobeyed the dog, and the dog found out that Shin was dead. And even though he said he loved me and he wanted to be with me, he said he loved me and wanted to be with me, but now he left just like Noriko left me, and everyone leaves me and ends up dead, and the dog can talk to me, but I don't know why dogs don't talk. 4th 11th Sunday And it's back to normal. Was that just like psychosis? I was just suffering psychosis there, so they flipped the screen. Uh, okay. I think Shin died. It's a foggy thought at the back of my mind, but it feels real. Shin died. Shin died, and the doorbell rings. Who could it be? And Shin died? I go to answer the door, and Shin died. Shin died, and I open the door. Shin died. Hikari knows that Shin died, and Shin died. Saw the news? I'm so, so sorry. We found him in a river. Horrible. Hikari sounds genuinely upset, even though she didn't care much for Shin, and Shin died. What do I do, Hikari? The last time I saw him, he... Do I tell her that Shin confessed to me? What did he say? He confessed that he loved me, but I never got the chance to tell him how I feel. Hikari looks down on her feet. Shin died, and she squirms awkwardly. He confessed to you. I had no idea he felt that way about you. Neither did I. All these years I've known him and I never saw it coming. That's true, I didn't see it coming either. I'm so, so sorry, Tina. I can't imagine what you're going through. But it might do you some good to get out of the house. You want to come for a walk? No. We could go to the cafe or the arcade or... I don't think so, Hikari. Shin died and Hikari looks defeated. Will you come to school tomorrow? I don't really know what to tell her. I might, I might not, and Shin died. Goodbye, Hikari. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Bye. I close the door and I hear Hikari walk away. I'm just going to go straight to bed. I can't deal with being awake any longer. Holy shit. It's the 5th 11th. I don't want to put this game down, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, holy fucking shit, it's everything, it's just, I mean, Chin, Chin's dead, who the hell would have another thing to bad Chin, you know, like, yeah, Hikari was nearby and they didn't exactly get on, but still, Hikari wouldn't just cave Chin's head in, uh, I mean, I'm just, I mean, it's, it's, Noriko's dead, Lemon and Lime are dead, the two cult people are dead, um, could it be, um, you know, Miss Otsuka? Could she have, could she actually be following me and just murdering everyone? Um, she used swords. Why would she cave somebody's head in? Um, and it was, well, after, I don't know. What the bloody hell? Ah, this game. This fucking game. Um, 
Anyway, that's enough because it's probably been looking at the clock. It's been about an hour, if not a little bit over. Um, yeah. So I am gonna get the chance to become a straight A student. I hope. I hope. Oh, because because I got the option to go to school. So that hopefully means I have the option to be after school and 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 do you know alchemy stuff and get straight A student. Um, fucking hell. Right. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, until next time, have a good night.